Back to pancakes and projects today we're gonna build the what are we building trailer we're building a trailer for the go-kart because we don't need that cool we picked up this trailer off the old facebook and market face friends place we're gonna see if we can uh turn it into well a trailer for the go-kart because that's super unnecessary but why not so what's kind of cool about this little trailer is it appears that it's all bolted together so we're gonna start taking it apart and uh, see what happens. So there it sits. Got her all disassembled. We're trying to figure out what the length should be. We're about 24 inches was what we're thinking to make it look somewhat decent. Um, but we don't make things look decent very well, so that's gonna be the tough part here. Uh, we're gonna go with 24 inches. Uh, we're gonna cut it. Let's cut it. We got the cooler here. That's kind of what this trailer's been built around for. I like it, and I like how more narrow this is because it fits behind the go-kart more. I also like these. They're a little bit smaller than the rest of the tires, but I like the knobby off, like kind of more off-road look, but it's like, it's pretty much the perfect size for this, and I can't wait to put it together and have it behind this thing right here. So as Mac mentioned, we were kind of building this trailer around this idea of having this cooler in here. It is a family heirloom. Thanks, Dad. Uh, it's a pretty cool hams cooler, though, from about probably the 60s. It's, it looks good. We can put other things in there, too. Soda. Sodies. Road sodies. Uh, road snacks. Snackers. Snacks. So this is the width that we need, so I'm going to try to cut this out and see how I can get this to kind of slide together, possibly. Try to do this, well, as easy as possible. We got the basic width set up. Now Max is going to go ahead and uh, zap it. do some zappers along the zappy zapper. Just a few tacks, actually a lot of tacks down the way to get her uh, kind of more solid. Getting fun. Getting fun. So we got this thing kind of, well, it's tacked up. Mac did a good job getting her tacked in, and I think that's kind of where we need to be. Now we gotta, well, just figure out what kind of tires we need, and looks like right now the axle fit, but I just need to find tires. And probably you can't spray paint, but other than that, we're ready to rock. Oh, it's, it's ready to ride. Right. Anyway, we'll get the other stuff figured out eventually. We've got the basic shape set up, so we need to put some strength back in this thing. So we're going to put one of like, I guess you'd call it like the bulkhead on one end, and we're going to have to drill some holes and see how that works. I don't know which way this goes. We're going to do some cutting. What way does this go? I don't remember. Well, we got one. We got one end kind of on there. And now we're looking at this other end. Max, been, what have you been doing? Uh, trying to hammer the din out of this. Kind of straighten it out a little bit. So, what? and that held the old tailgate on, which kind of slid in, I guess. If, if it, no, that doesn't make sense, but it- It did, it was like- little tabs in there, and it just slid in and out. And we need to use these. We got one on here to kind of put some structure back in this side and don't worry don't worry it's crooked because well we made it i ain't got no traction chains you can pull me out you put your toe strap on me baby put your toe strap on me i'm gonna drill this hole okay oh well okay that's gonna we don't need that piece i like that crumbling hey Twist it on there, bud. Give her a twister. You ever played twister? You know, I have, and I've always wanted to be good at it. Twister, Wait. but I just, I don't, the girth in my cumbersomeness is just, it's not a good, uh, it's not good for twister. Your ankles do not look like they're built for it. Or, or any of my body parts, really. Not flexible. Not a lot of room. No. 
Max getting that bolted up on there, this thing is, it's more rustic than a Sizzler salad bar. Uh, here's the big dilemma. It's not even a dilemma. We're trying to figure out what uh, wheels and tires to use. Of course, this is upside down and do we use the big wheels? These are not air wheels, these are like solid, they're flat free, I'm sure they're rough riding. Do we use these bigger wheels or do we use some smaller ones? What are you voting so far? I know it's hard to see on this, but. I like the look of like the big wheels being like slammed to the ground. Yeah. And I'm kind of on the track of voting for big wheels. Big wheels. We would run like a vote for these things, but once again, we don't know how to do that and we're just going to do it anyway. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's... Go big ones. We are out of, we don't, I was looking for my Christmas tree bits for the step bit thing. I don't, I can't find it. We're gonna go, gonna go get one. Yeah. We're just, we got the uh, axle through there. Dude, Max is trying to get this, this wheel lined up. This tire is amazing. <laughs> Someone explain what this is. There it is, the Christmas tree bit. We went to the store to buy one and they're about, well, it's a thousand dollars. But Max said before we left, I bet we find it when we come back. And this is after we drilled the holes. We used a hole saw that was close enough. So anyway, we got one of those. So if you need it, don't ask me because I'll lose it. Well, there's just a preview visual of it. I think it's going to be all right. I think. Now that we've got the trailer kind of set up how we want it and how it looks and looks cool, trying to figure out how to make the tongue work and how to attach to the back of the go-kart. And we are trying to use as much of this old uh, thing as we can so we're not using other stuff. So. It has just like a pretty simple pin system, which I'm sure will work. It looks like it was reefed on a little hard. Somebody must have hooked that up to their Yugo and gave her a rip, but I don't know. We're gonna see if we can make this work though. Trying to get this tongue figured out, what I did was cut a piece of the old tongue off and I want to just bolt it through the bottom of this and then take this other piece and then weld it, weld it to here. And I think that should give it plenty enough of strength for, for the girls that we date. All right, I'm about to weld this hitch pin thing on here. I don't even really know what it is. But we're just gonna tack it up right about here, just so it doesn't fall off, and uh, I think we'll uh, be good to go. All right, so we got the tongue and this little hitch on here, looking real nice, and we've got this little O piece of metal that's gonna go from right here under this little like lip thing that drops this pin in there from right here on the go-kart it's gonna go right here and uh yeah the final measurements on this trailer i think we took six and a half inches out of the middle and we shortened it by two feet so it's a good pretty good shop job so there it is it's the trailer for the go-kart we started out with a craftsman a riding lawnmower trailer it cost us 45 bucks that's big money Came with these sweet tires though. We got her done and uh, it's looking pretty good.